The right. night's no different. And we got a homie, man, it's cool that he, uh, you know, he's like fam to us now because when he does come in town, he stops through. But go ahead and introduce yourself, my brother. What's good, y'all? This is Elder Sensei, Artifacts, New Jersey. And like Rabbit said, man, I've been down there a few times and I've had a good time every time I've been. Yeah, there. right. Yeah, yeah, real vibes every right time. here. I absolutely had to have Al come through on the Zoom because he is the epitome of an artist that's thinking outside of the box right now during a time when there's a boulder in the road and he can't do what he do the way he liked to do it. And he's still moving and shaking. So I was like, you know what? I feel like he's going to inspire a lot of people who are still kind of feeling like, is it going to open? Is it not going to open? Is it going to open? Is it not going to open? And you are, yeah. every day, you're doing something. And I was just like, man, we got to have him talk hey, about it. El, El dri drives to the fork in the road and drives straight. That's what it is. Sure, I mean, look, hey, sometimes when boulders in the road, you're either going to go around it or you're going to go through it. Yeah, right. You're gonna you're gonna, you can go over it. You know what I'm saying? You can figure, you gotta figure out a way. And, and this is what this whole pandemic has been about for, for everybody, pretty much. A lot of people have been ordering merch from you. I, I got my shirt. Yes, I see. Grab Thank it. you very much. Of and I like course. what you did to the shirt, too. See? Thank yeah, you. what I say, we just talk about women. They put a whole nother touch to it, man. And freak it. They come out dope as hell. We gotta put our spin on it. You know what I'm saying? And hip hop got, got enough sausage in it. You know, <laughs> women women need to come and, and bring the, the frilly and the lace and, a you know, just a little bit of the flavor. Hey, that hey and you do. know what, L, I know you could agree. None of us hip hop dudes are disagreeing with you at all. We need all the ladies. <laughs> right, when right, these right. shows get cracking, you come out to all these shows. Ladies, you heard it here. We need all the, all the lady touch we can need in, in the hip hop world right now. Trust me. It, it, I, I think we can all attest to being at shows where it's just like, a fight all the way through every corner of the room and everything so it's like good to see a woman into hip-hop like that especially when they go to the show we we need that energy man it's that balance man we need all that right right and Definitely. and and speaking on that bro like balance i mean we, we kind of we're talking about it also with tracy lee man but balance man you've been able to um um you, your longevity is impressive bro like you've you've done some the most classic stuff but you're not even close to done like you're still rocking and figuring out ways like she said with the merch and the and everything bro New um, tracks. yeah what what is that always been in you is that it, that inspiration to like kind of keep pushing because i always see you man and you're always pushing it's inspirational bro yes man i appreciate you saying that both of y'all you know is I guess it's the Capricorn in me, uh, and just like as a kid, always you know I get bored fast, so I try to keep my mind going. Uh, the work ethic is, you know, I tell people all the time, even without the pandemic, you know, this is what we supposed to be doing as far as the music part, you know, and um, I, I have a thing in my in my head that I hear all the time. Uh, a dude that used to work at Atlantic Records. Uh, he told me before we got off the label, he said, yo, you only as good as your last record. And I believe that in everything we do when we're doing this. So it's like, I have that in my mind with every record I do. I try to make sure with every record after that, I have to top it, you know, whether it be um, doing a feature on somebody else's record or even my own, I have to top everything that I've done prior to the next record because I know what that means for listeners that follow me as well, you know, if they expect a certain thing from me, that's what drives me. So it's like, it's either you're gonna come with something, you know, new, or you're gonna do something where they expect it, or you're gonna just knock their head off. So, you know, I, I just want everybody to have a piece of this artifacts, uh, whether you say memorabilia, you know, this is what we are. I want people to feel proud when they put the gear on to know that what we stand for, is what they believe in too. And over the years, that's all me and team have been trying to do. You know, we, we never, come, you know, changed for the label. They didn't really pressure us into doing music we didn't want to do. But I knew that in, as long as we were doing this music, we had a, a stamp of approval by the people that are in the culture with us. And they, and it's like you and, and Danny, like yourself, everybody that we know, our friends, 
and the coaches, so they all rooting for us in a way where I understand because that's yeah. why we try to make the music so good. Hell yeah. So, you know, that we understand what they want. Hell yeah, man. And, and uh, on that note, like, real quick, I just wanted to touch on that with the merch and everything, too. You can you can see um, the, the so many different styles and genre of people that, that are, are sporting your stuff. And, and mm -hmm. you know, and those are all fans of the music as well, obviously. Right. But I've seen when you post up stuff of different people rocking the merch, man, it's a... It's a wide range of, of people, man, and all different colors, yep. you know what Age, I'm saying? Demographic. And that, mm -hmm. that's what hip hop's about, and that's that's dope. Right, and it is a worldwide thing. You know, I, I always said that hip hop wasn't meant to stay where it started from, you know what I'm saying? Because there would be there won't be any growth. There wouldn't be us talking about, you know, with <laughs> y'all in Cali, I'm in I'm in Jersey. You know, this this thing is something that was built for everybody to love. Uh, you know, everybody that can get an opportunity to participate in this game, you know, we all putting in our two cents. And, you know, I feel as though, you know, I want to give a shout out to Knockout Custom Tees. Uh, my man Bobby been doing a good ass job with all the t-shirts he's been doing, all the hoodies. Shout out to New Jersey Ink Shop out here in Jersey and Long Branch. Uh, Vinny from Naughty by Nature gave me the plug on, on them and they made the hat you got on right now. Uh, these dudes take care in what they're doing. I mean, I wear the gear too, so I can't have everybody out there wearing something that I wouldn't wear. So, right. you know, That's beautiful. They, these people, they stay, they at the table and I know what it is. I mean, this is everywhere worldwide. Like, it's the same effect. And when you're at the table and they see me at the table, they don't see me, you know, coming out from the back or whatever. It's me at the table and that's the dopest part about it because they get an autograph right there they get the picture and everything you know this is not a hard thing to do i'm human you know i'm just an artist you know i'm, I'm trying to show them that you know even with for as long as we've been in this game we still got to do the things that we do right now to keep that word out there keep that brand going because you know if we're doing this music we should want to share everything you know what i'm saying so that when we do meet up with these people because yo you, nowadays you go to shows and all these cats that follow you on instagram you may not know their name but you know their instagram handle yeah like you want such and such from blah, blah, blah. oh okay I, I know you i know you and then they like yo remember and then they want they order stuff like that too i've been to europe where i get there and do like yo you got my yeah i got your message it go right here boom boom and you know that's the dope part about it we didn't have that back in the day where say you know any kind of merch or i was make, made t-shirts and stuff like that but you talking about the label and the fan club it was always just a damn letter they was getting to send now you cut through all that middleman shit we had all this instagram and everything back in the day when we was on the label we wouldn't have to worry about them doing any promotion <laughs> and marketing we could do that shit on our own yeah. and now today is that is the dopest thing you ask any fan today you know, I get a lot of like, is this really you, you know, talking on here? Like, no, it's me. I don't have a publicist, bro. It's just me. Not only that, but when y'all order, it's it's a personalized order. Exactly. It feels very special. You know, you take the time, you write on it, you know, yeah. you put a little sticker in there. So I was like, it was Christmas for me. It came, it came a little <laughs> after my birthday and I was like, look what I got. Well, I still have the bag because hey, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get yeah, rid of the and bag. And that's, that's the whole point of it, you know, just. That all of that is 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 for the experience and knowing that is not somebody else that you're talking to, and it's actually me and personalizing everything. Well, you're you're taking the extra step to engage with the people, but on top of that, just something I wanted to say is like it, it, it's like a lot of the artists that have been doing this for a while. It's a give and take. Some people really embrace, you know. Obviously, there's new ways to promote. And right. my, why not work towards like what it what it's going towards? And you really embraced it. Like some artists don't want it to, you know, um, the social media, whatever it might say be. It, say it, say it all. Yeah, say it all. Certain but things. I just say a whole lot more. Yeah, yeah, right, right. But you know what I'm getting at, and it's like yeah. certain things they don't want to embrace. But it's like even Tracy Lee was just talking about this too, and, and he's saying you still got to pay attention to what's going on. You just do it your own way. But you've right. really you've really embraced. The way that the new ways to promote man and that's a good thing and, and and you know just like i said these are tools that we didn't have before right. so 
me as an artist and being a, an older artist, this is fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because this is something that people wouldn't even fathom uh, having to have at their disposal. Where like, dude, trust me, I can wake up in the morning. I got people hit me three, four in the morning asking for merch, but I know they might be in Europe. They may they may be up late night smoking or something like that. But they just <laughs> they they try and see. Like, let me see if he's gonna answer me back. And when I hit them back, it could be like a story they might mention me. And I text them back like salute or whatever. They like, oh word, that's that's really you hitting me up. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, like is is dope because you really see who following you. Like, oh, I know all the people following me. I may not know, but I know they follow me because of what me and Tame do. So it's not Hell like yeah. to say like uh, you get them Instagram uh, messages where they say if you want to buy so many fans or get so many more followers. I know all of them people that's following me. Even if they don't post recently or nothing like that, I know they're only there because they know who we are. Hey, listen, I know, Danny, we're going to get into some of the new, you know, what you're working on and stuff. But just real quick, you know, a memory for me is like when you uh, tame and, and rest in peace to chaos, man. Um, mm -hmm. Man, bro, like he used to hit us up whenever he was in town. I told you this before. I know. I know. I yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and so it, it hit me hard. But. One of my best memories here, um, you know, is uh, you you guys came, uh, chaos was on the tables. You guys came, and there was other artists here, but you guys jumped up to rock too, like like it right, ain't, right. It ain't remember, nothing. Yep. It ain't nothing, right? Yep. And I remember this is what was funny as shit to me, bro. And, and hip hop as fuck to me is that Tame was chilling in the background, like. I didn't even know if he was gonna rhyme. He was just uh -huh. chilling, right? But then all of a sudden, he just got up and blacked yeah, out. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right. When it was his turn, he just went up there and started murdering. So, and it was freestyle. And I was like, "Damn, bro!" Choose life for status. Yeah, status. yeah. It was it was a dope memory for me, bro. It, it was a few times we was there. I think it was a time when me and Chaos came, just me and him. Uh, I think we y'all had like an anniversary party or something like that, mm. and um. This was it, the store was in the we was in the back from in the, in the store just like always but it was a little different uh, as far as the way y'all had it set up. I just remember everybody was getting nice and like yeah yeah exactly because me and Chaos were by seven. I remember Chaos because I remember how the room was say it was a little chairs over here. I'm watching him over the other side of the room <laughs> yeah. and I was calling him. I'm like Chaos, Chaos. He looked at me. Oh, he had a, a white cup. Styrofoam cup in his hand. And I will never forget the look on his face. When he looked at me and I, he finally heard me, and he took, he turned around, his eyes was all low, he was <laughs> done. He was like, yo, he said, yo, L. I said, chaos. You know what, right now, you are like fucked up, bro. I said, I never seen you like this before. <laughs> he was like, yo, L, I am done right now. <laughs> I was like, yo. I, and and, and it, that whole trip we had out there was dope. And, and you know, I, I cherish them times because every time we came to Cali, I'm saying every time, I never know how none of the show is going to turn out. I'll never know how any of the meet and greets going to turn out. I'm talking about program, uh, skate shop in Fullerton. A lot of things that I've set up and try to do, whether if it was me and Sadat, um, Edo, you know, Chaos was always with me, but y'all always showed us love out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we never know, you know, we always see our friends when we go to, but we never know how the crowd is going to be. And it's always a good crowd. It's always the, the acceptance, you know, so it's always a, a good thing for me because it's like also going home a little bit because for yeah. many times I've been back and forth to Cali, all the people I know, it, I can, I wish I had like a, enough bread to have a spot there where I can just go to and set up and don't have to be on the hotel Airbnb <laughs> shit and just be like stay there for like a month and just get to do all this stuff I want to do because every time I'm there it's only a week or so and it's like everything chop chop hurry up yeah so I do get to you know I get to have fun when we come there so I, I appreciate y'all for that and just even including us in with anything y'all was doing I'm glad you said that because today marks the day of the full moon, the pink moon, and it is a Scorpio moon, and you just set oh, an shit. intention right now. And that mm. intention was to be able to stay a month in Cali, afford a spot, and y'all, 
set your intentions in this full moon. I'm putting it in the universe it. right now. I'm putting That's it in right. the moon. That's and, right. And we gather, we're gathered here together. We all witnessing it. So that means we're all putting our energy and our vibe on it. So uh, but, I see but, it. Let's and, do it. Let's and, do it. And even more importantly, can you just see your shoes? I just want to make sure because... Or else Shay Whitey gets in trouble. Right. We want to make sure <laughs> these are sparkling, right? I, I had to, I had to call him out because I, I you know, I come dressed from you got the dots, you got these bats in the hat and everything. Yeah, right. you, you, know know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? You know she already knows. And they be cutting right my feet right? off every time, and I'm like, yo, I'm about it's this tall. Right. How you cut my feet off when I'm only this tall? How you do that? <laughs> How you do that? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, hey, see, there it is. We'll take <laughs> take it up with the producer. <laughs> my man is dying it. in the back. Because if that's the case, I'll just throw my moccasins back on. You know? Hey, but those were fly too. I got. Right? I can't. I can't deny. Hey, even the indigenous is drip. You know what I mean? And you right, know right, what's right. up with that? Because you're the stuff you guys create. Is there any new stuff coming out? Or is there? How do? What's the process for creation right now? Well, right now, um, my man Bobby is out there. He's, he's actually getting all the merch together. I got a pop-up shop coming in May uh, in Arizona. So um, I'm just trying to really get all of the colors that's on the site. The merch site is on my uh, my bio and my Instagram uh, right at the top if you want to see anything. But I always tell everybody to follow me on Instagram because a lot of the stuff I have on my Instagram page may not be on the site, such as the windbreakers. Um, about to do those, about to do a little bit more women uh, apparel as far as like, you know, crop tees and hoodies and stuff like that. Because one thing I will say, uh, women aren't as so forthcoming when it comes to buying the merch, you know, when it like, you know, I understand that. So at the same time, I say, look, just you y'all in this game, too. You can participate in the same way the dudes do. You'll get the same package as everybody else but you know is i want them to be comfortable with knowing that they, they can order because a lot of times the dudes y'all gotta calm down when ladies wear hip-hop gear y'all can't be all in they dm like you will wear my shirt I'm like yo this is genuine stuff happening that's right so dudes gotta, that's you know, real see, shit and and, and and yo i trust me i hear things I, and so i try to tell when i understand when it comes to you know with with all of that so, but i just want women to know I'm going to have a lot more uh, women-driven clothes. I'm going to try to experiment a little bit, especially when it gets the weather changed. But T-shirts is coming, so we're going to get ready for the summer. Let them know how to follow you, and hopefully we'll be able to find out by following you when the date for Arizona is. Because, y'all, I'm going to be there for sure. Oh, yeah. So my Arizona look, friends. Arizona is May 22nd. Okay. May 22nd. is we gonna, It's going to be a festival, two-year anniversary for the Trill Shop in Phoenix. It's going to be me, it's going to be Razzcast, it's going to be MC Supernatural, Woo. it's going to be Lord Finesse on the ones and twos, Whoa. Breakbeat Lou, Whoa. So, you know, Supreme Love, it's going to be a lot of things happening, uh, it's going to be a swap meet, we're going to do the biggest pop up in the, in the parking lot, they have my man DJ Eyeball is coming down. Pause is coming down. What up, I ball? What up, pause? Wow. Hey, listen, this and it's, it's outside, so you know what I'm saying. We ain't got to worry about all the COVID restrictions to keep everybody in the building. We're gonna be out <laughs> outside, so it's gonna be a big thing. It's gonna be fun. So that's hey. May 22nd. We're gonna be doing that. You know Get what your else? Social distance on. Hey. Yeah, and it's right, right, right. <laughs> Stay over there. We're gonna be right here. Yeah. Everybody can be outside. And right then here. it's like, give me six feet. Give me six Bro, feet, yeah. dog. Give me room to breathe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you know what? It's a beautiful thing, though, that like different spots, you know, like AZ, you know, there's there's other places I can mention, but like the, these places, I mean, besides us over here, I mean, um, right. they really embrace the the culture and, and to, to put an event like that together with some big dogs like that, man, that that's just saying something about their knowledge, you know, what's going on, man. Absolutely. Arizona got a scene. And every time, like I said, no different than LA and, and Cali, this guy, Chuck, he books us every time we do a West Coast tour. So he brings us to Arizona and, it, you know, he's a good dude and he cares about hip hop so much. You know, he got the shop out there, he's dedicated to all the elements of hip hop. This guy, he got his memorabilia there. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, y'all gonna see it when we get there, I'm gonna film. Is we gonna, this is probably like the 
outside biggest thing that we all gonna do. And you know, we we coming from different places. I'm actually in the process of trying to set up a pop up out there. So I'm trying to get all of the vinyl shops together uh, to you know do some outside shit because we don't have to do anything inside. I'm talking to people in Memphis. I'm talking to people in North Carolina. Anybody that's, you know, I'm going to put up a little something, but I'm just trying to really be uh, intricate with it and just hit up different places that might be interested. So, you know, if, if, if you know, we could chat, talk about it later on and see if we can get something going out there. But, you know, this is something to do. Everybody been stuck in the house. And this is the perfect time. Where Everybody's weather, ready you know, to get out, bro. Yeah, we ready. Like, yo, trust me, a lot of people got shots, so I'm sure I'm sure they're ready to go outside. Yeah. I got my vaccine, bro. I'm going everywhere. Uh, a lot of people, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, yeah, and that's the thing to get travel and stuff <laughs> might be necessary right. sometime. And real quick, I just wanted to say, besides you and Tame, obviously been killing it for a long time together but man you and dotty dot x Ooh, man yeah. you yeah. guys you guys are so dope together and we, and we can't we can to see y'all too y'all yeah yeah you know. we did that show uh right here at katie jake's right next to yeah, us yeah yeah, yeah. that yeah. was and that was crazy show. that was crazy that was I mean, a great like, show to do that with x that whole that whole album it was funny because we was on we was on the street in brooklyn about to go into pete rock smith and wesson party and we did a quick interview with this dude we knew and somebody out of nowhere screamed like yo why y'all ain't do an album together why y'all don't do that <laughs> and the interview was over after he said that and we looked at each other like damn yeah why, why don't we do light bulb that? and his, his manager at the time was standing out there too and, and my boy was there and they was like yeah so y'all gonna do that for real and that night we agreed we was like yeah shit that was like 2011 history it took us seven years to put the record together uh, but I'm glad it did. We put 22 songs on there. I didn't want to leave nothing on the floor. I, I told X, let's put all this shit out, man. Like, you know, why not? You know, and it worked out and we got to shoot videos and a little bit of everywhere, we, you know, especially more. We shot most of the videos in Europe. Uh, you know, shout out to um, um, my man, The Machine. You know, he sh he's, he's in San Pedro. He shot a video for us out there and um, I appreciated that. Everybody that shot the shot videos for the project uh, did it because they wanted to. Um, nice. And that was dope too, because like yo, we was in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I met my man on on fucking Facebook Messenger, and he was just like, "Yo, y'all shooting y'all shooting videos? I want to shoot one." <laughs> so the break the breakthrough video, we are in a spot in Denmark called Christiania. Now Christiania, for anybody that's been to Europe, been to Denmark. That is like a small ass park, skate park, graffiti park, whatever you want to call it. But it's dudes in there selling bud. They got some good weed in there. They got, they got hash. They got hash. In That's there. always important. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, and that 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 park, we shot the video in there, and we I knew dudes that was in the park too. So it was wild. Like I was like, and they, cause they know me from coming through there. When we it's like the tourist spot to go to, but they know people. That come in there, so they see me and X come in there, and these dudes, so many dudes are from New York, and they stay there, they stay out in Europe for a while, so they wind up being in that park selling butt, and they see us, they be like, oh shit, the guard is out here, so they, you know, they know, they know, good, good. they know what's going on, so you know, we hang out there for a minute, and we shot the video there. We had certain people, in we make sure that they know we shooting because you don't mess up their business. It's just like home, you just in Denmark. That's right. Yeah. Let them know your handles. That way, anyone who hasn't followed you yet can tap in with you. And then we are going to go ahead and show breakthrough, which is what Al was talking about. So, who Word should up. they follow so that they can make sure that they cop the merch and that they see you and me and maybe Rabbit in Arizona May twenty second? No doubt, y'all can see me and follow me on Instagram. Sensei from NJ S E N S E I from NJ. Follow me there. I'm on. Uh, Facebook, but you know, they put the government up there. That's Elliot Elder Sensei Williams. So, but you can mostly follow me on Instagram because I'm always on there. So, if you want to order anything, hit me up on there and I'll take care of you. Dope. We're going to break into that breakthrough yeah. video 
featuring Sadat X and Daddy X. Sensei. Okay. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much for coming through again. I appreciate no you. No doubt, no doubt. Thank you for having me. Thanks for that, my brother. And 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 say what's up to Daddy if you see him before we do. Oh, you no know, I'm sure yeah, you will. Listen, listen you again. I, I love his uh his fucking Instagram morning posts. Those are oh my god, he, he be wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah Murphy, man. He on a good <laughs> one in those, the morning, Mr. Those Murphy. get me going in the morning, my brother. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. We'll see you soon. No doubt, y'all. All, right. All right. Peace. Peace.